Hi, I'm Hannah from 21st Century KY, and I'm going to share with you today why I am throwing away all of my alphabet flashcards. I will no longer be using flashcards with the ABCs on them to teach or practice the alphabet with my kindergarten and first grade students in reading. And the reason is so simple, but so mind-blowing, and this is such a useful concept when you take a moment to stop and think about it. When kids are learning the alphabet with flashcards, they're just seeing letters in isolation. And sometimes that works, and sometimes kids need to block out the distraction of other letters in order to focus on learning letter names. But we know the ultimate goal of knowing letter names and sounds is to be able to put them in the context of a word and to put those words in context of a story. So what I'm going to share with you today is what I will do from now on when we review or learn the alphabet in my kindergarten and first grade groups for reading. I will not be using flashcards. I will be using an alphabet chart. And there's three big reasons why I'm going to use a chart instead of flashcards. Number one, this looks like a page for reading. And so we're going to start by reading this page every day and we're going to start with the title. I'm going to teach the concept of a title and we're going to practice reading the alphabet every single time. I don't know about your kindergartners and first graders, but for mine, the is one of the hardest learns to, words to learn, and I don't even know why, and it gets frustrating. But practicing it like this every day is gonna give them a frame of reference and help them remember that word the next time they see it. So number one, I'm gonna teach them that tricky sight word, and I'm gonna teach them what a title is. Then we're gonna practice saying the letters or the sounds along with their picture. So as we go across, we're gonna practice either A, A, apple, B, B, ball, or K, K, cat, D, D, dog. So they have a picture and they've got an extra thing in their mind to sort of hook that letter's value to. And as we practice them this way, you'll notice we're starting from the left and moving to the right. So we're practicing tracking print. When we get to the end of the row, we're going to learn the third big thing, and that is text wrapping. I know, mind blowing. When I got this, this alphabet chart, it came from my Saxon Phonics kit and it was in a strip. We've always had these, love them, send them home, use them all the time. But when they're working with them this way, it's in one big long line. Do we ever come in contact with print that's this long? No. When we get to the end of a row, we wrap our text. And so when kids start practicing their alphabet in this way, they'll get ample practice with the concept of te text wrapping. So when they come to a piece of reading text, it's gonna be a very easy shift to understand the concept that when you get to the end of a line, you wrap around and start over at the next line. So kids will already be equipped to handle a book with multiple rows of text. So teaching and learning the alphabet this way early is gonna give my kids some concepts of about concepts about print and some tracking skills that's gonna help them, that are gonna help them when they get ready to read in context. I created this one using my Saxon kit because it sort of matches what my kids do at school. I left an empty space here so they could practice writing. If I put it in a page protector or laminate it, I could use a dry erase and get extra practice writing. You can grab my free alphabet chart from my 21st Century K Literacy Facebook page or from 21st Century K on TPT. You can get it in color and black and white, print it out, laminate it, or put it in a page protector, send them home and have families practice at home, pitch your flashcards, and you'll be so happy you did in the long run. Your kids and you will thank yourself because they'll be ready to tackle reading text in no time flat.